welcome to this fourth video in the series showcasing the new features in Pit Stop 2018. In this video, we are going to focus on one particular set of new features, line art editing tools. We are very excited to introduce new tools from the world of line art and vector editing to Pit Stop and Acrobat. These new tools mean that you can edit vector graphics within PDF files in many new ways without ever having to leave Pit Stop. This eliminates the inconvenience of opening line art objects in other applications. Okay, let's take a look at the new vector editing tools. Here I have some basic vector graphics. If I open the Pit Stop Inspector, you will see that there is a new tab called Line Art Editing. If I select all the line art objects, tools to unite, intersect, exclude, minus front, minus back, and divide are available to me. As you see, there is also an option at the bottom of the panel so I can work with the original elements or a copy. This functionality is available in the inspector as shown by right mouse click and also as actions. So these features can be automated and also used in Pit Stop Server and Switch. In conjunction with these Pathfinder tools, we have also added an offset path action. In this file, I have created a single closed path and also a compound shape. You can see these white shapes are holes in the PDF file, not white fills. So the bottom element is a complete shape. I have two action lists that I've created, offset path, negative smaller, and offset path, positive bigger. These are very straightforward and will select all objects and then make a copy of the objects and grow or shrink them by the value in the action list. In this case, three millimeters. This is also known as spreading and choking in older terminology. Here you can see that the closed path at the top has been duplicated and as you would expect, now has a copy, three millimeters smaller around than the original. The bottom shape with the compound path has become smaller all over. The outermost path has become smaller than the original shape. The innermost circles have actually become bigger, but that is because the shape itself is three millimeters smaller all round. Now we will use the other action and make a larger version. With the positive action, you can see the reverse has happened. The closed path is now bigger all round by three millimeters. And with the compound path, the outer path is bigger and the inner paths are smaller, meaning the overall shape is three millimeters bigger all round. These tools are available as actions, but can also be used manually if the user options are set to run on user selection. Finally, the last action, which converts strokes to fills. This is very important when working with the other actions. A stroke is a single line, so it will not work with the previous actions. So we need to convert it to a fill first. You can see this stroke is nine millimeters wide and colored with a spot color. If I run this action, you can see afterwards that it's no longer a stroke, which means I can now use the previous actions in conjunction so I can unite, grow, reduce, and so forth. Finally, let's show you all these actions in conjunction with each other to add bleed and make a die line to a shape. So what I want to do is use them to make a die line and then also make them larger to generate bleed. So as you can see, I now have a new die line slash cutter guide that overprints and it's in a spot color so I can toggle it on and off. I could also put this on a PDF layer. You can also see that my original shape has grown and has generated bleed, all with one click of a mouse. Bear in mind that this process could also have been completely automated using Pit Stop Server. We hope you like these new features and that they give you lots of benefits in your daily production. Watch out for the next video in our series as we build up to the release of Pit Stop 2018 in April.